what's going on guys welcome back to today's video today we are out here at this public pond and we're going to be going after some largemouth unfortunately conditions are terrible i mean it is 93 degrees i believe today just a little bit of wind i hear the wind's going to pick up some as the day goes on but uh conditions are rough water is probably upper 80s right now mid to upper 80s and it is warm so we're going to try some slow four inch wacky rig sankos and hopefully get onto a few fish that way. If not, we might switch to something else, but stay tuned and let's see what we can catch. First bite right there. Must have been a smaller fish or a bluegill just grabbing the end. Sorry about the wind noise. Not only is it brutally hot today, but we've had some tremendous rains over the past week. Probably at least an inch of rain. So this water is really murky right now. Hopefully the fish can still see the lures. I mean, we've had a, a lot of rain and the drain culverts that run into this uh, little drainage pond are ripping. So there's a lot of bass in those culverts and it's making the water really muddy as well. A lot of temperature change all at once is not a real good thing for fishing. It kind of like stunts and shocks these fish and then they won't cooperate and eat hardly. They get used to a certain thing and then a uh, drastic change like a heavy rain and the fish turn off completely. There's a fish. Ooh, nice little bass. First one, pretty far down there, but we got him. I seen some bluegill surface and I figured, hey, let me just throw it in there and let it sink all the way down to the bottom and see what happens. First bass. Not a huge one, but he's really, really thick. Surprisingly, a lot of the fish in here are pretty skinny. First largey. It's really important to get those fish back in the water as fast as possible when it's this hot. It's not really good for their slime coat to be out of the water. One down, couple to go, hopefully. There we go. Oh, he threw it. What the heck? That was a nice fish. And that was pretty cool too. Took it right there. Just throw it right at the culvert and he came up for it and took it. That's all right, we'll get back in there. There's a little one. Just a little guy trying to twitch the worm really, really slow. And he came out of the grass and hit it last second. I was getting ready to lift it up. One last time to pull it out of the water and he took it. That makes fish number two and a half. That one doesn't necessarily count all the way. You gotta take it uh, serious all the way until you get that bait in. Sometimes they'll hit it right when you start to lift it up. A little change in motion or pattern can usually be the key to getting these fish out. Well, I switched over to fly. I'm gonna throw around a little spider. See if I can catch a couple bluegills on the spider topwater. Seen a few bluegills surface while I was fishing today. For some reason, they don't seem to be as affected as the largemouth are. So we're gonna try a couple bluegill and then probably call it a day. Here comes one. It's already looking at it. Kind of staying deep though. Maybe I need to throw on something a little deeper. There's the first one. There we go. Only took a couple casts. One about 100 yards down the shoreline and first bluegill. Not a bad little gill. Almost to eater size. A little bit too small for me to keep, but not a bad fish to start with. First beautiful bluegill. There we go. First one on the spider. There we go. Oh man, I missed him. That was a nice hit right there. I love it when they come up and pop on a bait. Just like that. Oh man, he got wrapped up. I don't know what happened there. Definitely did not hook him in the side. Perfect. Smaller than the first fish, but still 
a very quality gill, a lot of potential. Makes for good bass candy in this little pond. Give him a year or two and he'll be a nice eater size. Bluegill number two. We're gonna try to get one or two more and then we might call it for the day. Bluegills are actually a little tougher than I was expecting. Lifeline. Sounds of a subdivision. There we go. Another beautiful gill. Not sure if the last one was on camera or not. I think my camera may have overheated just a little bit. Wow, that's a big turtle out there in the middle. Not sure if you can see it or not, but it looks like a giant log just swimming. Pretty cool. Another beautiful bluegill. Just a little guy though. Gonna be good potential in a few years. It'll be a nice eater size. For now, it's just bass food. There we go, got a nice one on it. And just nibble in the back. That's too, that's too bad. I think the big ones know better. Typically, I enjoy fly fishing for bluegills because you can usually, if the fish are biting, get them in and out of the water much quicker than you can with live bait. You also don't really have as bad of issues with the fish swallowing your bait. Today, it just seems like these bluegills are not wanting to cooperate. I thought they were going to. I see them popping on top of the surface a little bit earlier. But I think as the day's going on, the water's still continuing to heat up. They're just not that interested. There we go. Another one, that's been a hot minute. Finally got on another one. There was a little school of like four or five of them that swam by and I pitched right in there and got them. Right off the weed edge. Another really important thing when you're throwing for bluegills is usually look for that structure. That structure or anywhere there's shade or something along those lines, that's where those fish are gonna be hiding at. If you can see beds, you can always pitch in there, but it's not always the easiest. So if you can't see the beds, just pitch off the weed line and sometimes you'll be able to get on these fish. There we go, another little one. Definitely pitched that in there a little hard on him, but that's okay. Beautiful little sunfish. There was a bigger one that was in there next to this guy and I was pitching and watching for the other one, but this guy came out of the weeds and chomped on it. Beautiful panfish, just a little guy, about five inches maybe. Well, we managed a few bluegills today and a couple bass. Conditions are just really, really tough. It's the end of August and September's right around the corner, so the temperatures are just about as hot as they're gonna be for the year. So hopefully next time we come out here, the temperatures will be a little bit lower, the water will be cooled off, and these bass and these bluegills start to hit, some, hit a little bit better. So I wanna say thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and leave a comment, and we will catch you on another episode. Peace.